What's going on, y'all? Mad Dad 316 here, coming to you from this Mad Din, here to talk to you about this Mad Din. Series 6, take 3. What I mean by that, third time to take to make this video today. I'm trying to get a video out to you at lunchtime, but did not work out. Ran out of time for lunch. Recorded it twice, and nothing. No sound. Terrible. Terrible. So that's why I didn't have a video out for you guys earlier. I apologize for that. I don't even know if this video is going to come out right or sound right, but... Dealing with poor quality equipment over here, guys. Uh, so I'm sorry to my subscribers that are that are that are hanging in there for me, guys. I swear to you, when I get more subscribers, I'll be able to justify upgrading my equipment a little bit to get us a little bit clearer video. But thanks for sticking with me anyway. Anyway, I already invested here in series six. I'm already knee deep in it, guys. I already went and got Adrian Peterson. Check him out. Third time to charm, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 98 agility, 99 carrying, 73 catching, 96 elusiveness, 99 trucking, 99 gold, Adrian Peterson, looking beautiful. Love him there. So happy. Redskins got a big W. You guys know I love the Redskins. They got a big W. Bruce Smith. He's going to be my left end for my theme team and my backup on this team here because Jason Taylor is just so good. But here's his stats, powered up, uh, Legends Chem defense, as well as the Redskins Chem. 89 speed, 992 acceleration, 99 strength, 97 tackling, 98 player recognition, 940, 94 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. Great looking card. With a nice pink glow. I wonder what's up with that. Just anyway, cool. Um, other than that, guys, you know, I, I'm, we saw, I don't want to go over everything. I'm sure by this time of the day, you guys all know about Series 6. You've already been all the way through it. But other Redskin blessing is over here, man. Our Series Master, wherever he went, wherever there he is. Our Series Master. is going to be a, the backup tight end on my team, but still Jordan Reed. I'll be getting him here through the, the Nat one because I'll be keeping him on my team. Right after I do the Madden Collectibles, you can see I already have 23 from my Saving All Those Competition Series trophies. You can get those by tuning into um, when they have the champ Championship Series on um, Twitch. Link your account and just leave it on there. Don't even have to watch it and you get those trophies just dropped right into your binder. Um, so those are done daily, guys. Make sure you're taking care of those. But there's something I want to point out to you guys right now, and that's right here. Right now, these are not going to be the only packs for picks. I know the price of picks right now is about 300k for a 98, around 500k for a 99. If you have the coins, I was very passionate in my other videos about this, but I don't want to. I don't want you guys to come back and blame me. I've done it. I have over a hundred thousand picks in players, not in coin, and not in the actual picks up there, but um, or up there I should say, or right over there. <laughs> but uh, I have the players in there. I mean, I, I picked up the Roquan Smith, and I have a bunch of Tim Pews, the the ninety twos. Um, they're going for fifty k or less. The Roquan's going for three hundred k. Bruce Smith's going for the ninety nine's going for around five hundred k. Pick those up. Keep them as players. Picks are going to mean more. They're, the currency doesn't have much value right now because if you don't have a Texans team or a Redskin team or a um. A Bears theme team, then you really don't care about these players that much. We all have tons of middle linebackers, tons of wide receivers, and tons of running backs. We don't need these cards unless you have a theme team. So they don't have much value right now. People are doing these to try to make coins, and they're selling them for very low to, to make coins back. So that's why they're getting so many of those right now. Hold on to them because eventually there's going to probably be a Nat Pack for these 98s. They're going to release more and more Masters, and there's going to be... There's going to be more of these things, reasons for picks. Pick the value of picks will go up. So at that time, then you'll be able to sell those players for probably double the price and make coins. I promise you guys. I used to be terrible at this stuff. During the snow, I learned the hard way. During the snow blitz, I went the other way. I chased the actual snow instead of chasing the players, which the snow was held. And then when people really wanted the snow, they sold those players back to me. And I paid more. Now I do it. Did it with Super Bowl rings. I did it with scouts. And I'm going to do it with these rings. This is how I keep my coins high, guys. You've got to see what the market's going to do. These have no value right now. So they're just selling. You can't do them for training. You can only sell them for picks. People don't want the players. They want the coins. So they don't want the picks. They're going to sell them. 
buy these players low, stick them in your binder, wait till the value that the pick goes up, and then sell them for a profit. That's the best advice I can give you for Series 6 in this pass of the draft right now. Good luck in Weekend League, guys. I want to get this video out to you. I just want to share that insight with you. That's what I'm doing. Invest in these players. The pick's price will go up. Mad Dad 316, out.